I'm back in a whole new environment. Yes, we've moved. Most of the house is basically laid out. I mean, there's there's still some things that need to be done. Uh, it's a lot smaller house, and as you can see, the room is quite smaller compared to the 12-foot ceilings on the old turn-of-the-century house of the 20th century house. And it's... I mean, it's still a little ways up, not too much, but it's slightly cramped. And you, you can see, here's the back of the bed, so my, my chair bumps up against it a little bit. So it's tighter, but I like it. it uh, it's warmer, that's for sure. The, the, our old house, it was, it got quite cold because of the large rooms and the age of it. So... It's nice to be in a place where it still gets a little cool here in this house. We we have air con, so for, or some people call forced air. So it comes through the floor. There's vents in the floor, which is a little strange. You would think all houses should have them in the ceiling and not and not in the floor. Um, I bought a new camera. I'm still not entirely satisfied. It's a step up from my old camera. I had a, a Logitech C920 and this is a 22 which is nice. It has good clarity as you can see but I'm not satisfied with that. As you can tell it's for some reason this is blurry back here. It should not consider that this is clear. It's, it's like the opposite of my previous one where this side was blurry with my bookshelf that was there and now that side. So if you have a recommendation of a really good camera, uh, like a lot of people I keep seeing on YouTube use, like Rockstars, they they have some good cameras. Um, let me know, because I would love to have one that's crystal clear all the way across in the background, but something that's not going to break my wallet. And this one cost me $80. Uh, and that was on that was a sale, because the box it came in was a little muffed up. And it was from eBay. Uh, I don't want something that's going to just be ex extremely expensive. Uh, I can't. I can't afford that. So this. It was lucky I was able to get this one. Now, when I get my taxes, I might be able to. But you know, uh, sorry, I'm looking down here instead of up there. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the. Uh, you know, at least you can see my background better now. Uh, I am planning to get some shelves. Um, probably over there above that area so I can put some I, I still have a box full of collectibles I have still have not been able to put out um, I did find something uh, hold on a second I'll pause and I'll be right I'm back I got my item I'll show it to you at the end of the video it was something I had in one of my boxes my collectible boxes over the years and decided to bring it out and put it on a bookshelf out in the living room and uh Still works. Looks good, too. Anyway. Oops. Closed it the wrong way. As you can see, Japan Crate. January, which I just got. It's funny. I got February one day, a couple of days ago, and January right after it. <laughs> Here are the contents. The only thing I don't like, and there's the back side. Now, that, that Pikachu, that little Pikachu bit, oh, focus. Uh, one is similar to the Godzilla bank over there. Pretty much the same, just different uh, style. I keep looking down at myself instead of up here at the camera so I can see you. All right, we'll start with this one, which we've had before. Get away from the microphone here. I think we had this last year, which belongs to the Fuku Fuku Tai. Um, inspired by traditional Taiyaki. Oh, man. This is slightly very here. Served at food festivals in Japan, 
The Fuku Fuku Thai fish shaped wafer is an unusual snack made by Mito. It consists of a manaka wafer on the outside and an air bubble chocolate on the inside, which we know. And this edition is especially for the new year to bring luck. I'm going to have to readjust my lamp so I can have a little bit more light. I have it hitting the wall so it gets more light, but uh, I can't see this very well. It's slightly dim today because of the, uh, a lot of rain. I mean, a lot of, a lot of it we've had in the last few days down here in the south. And there it is. Oop. Better put my towel on my lap. Because this one makes a lot of mess. Mm. Here's your chocolate, in, the bubbly chocolate interior. Very nice. They're always good. Nice uh, sugar cookie type of manaka wafer, as they call it, with the bubbly. Kind of reminds me of. There's a particular chocolate bar that was put out over uh, years ago I forgot what the name of it was but it had this bubbly chocolate inside of it if I don't I'll try to find it and put it down here as a caption this doesn't look familiar hmm. yeah Kendamina hmm. Kendamina gummy grape and soda Candamina is a brand of our sour gummies by J Japanese candy ma manufacturer Kanro. These soft sour candies are usually shaped like music waves for maracas. This addition has a grape soda-like flavor in the shape of grapes, too. Okay. There's the backside. There's not much to see there. Yeah. Mm. Has a really nice, great smell to it. As you can see the got a nice coating to them. A mm. little bit sour, not too much. Flavor-wise. I have a, a good crepe type quality to them. They don't have a. Can, their taste. I, there's nothing around here I can compare it to. Just. Hmm. It's just grape. <laughs> it's a nice grape, though. Uh, uh, flavor to it. Hold on, I gotta pause one second. I had to turn off my screensaver for some reason. It was starting to turn on. Ooh, I'm gonna save these for almost last because they're they're another great gummy, but it looks like it's gonna be quite sour. So I want to try these others first before I do that. I don't recognize them though. We've had them, we've had sour gummies before, but not these. This looks sort of familiar. And it belongs to the mochi pudding. The, this bite-sized snack featuring rice cakes with a custard cream pudding in, inside a soft, chewy, mochi-like outside. Well, it is mochi. Not mochi-like. <laughs> there you go. Mm, little squishy mochis. Doesn't really have a scent. Hmm. It's sort of like a like an egg interior. They're a little bland. They have a very very minor sugar taste to them. Kind of kind of like chewy flour. <laughs> You know, the cooking flour has that flavor to it in a way. 
I mean, they're okay, but the, they would be better with the the flavor amped up, you know. So, oh, these are these are pretty good. We've had these a couple of times. So, as you can see, Sanka, Sankaku. Um, triangle shaped cracker vegetable flavor. <laughs> this sleeve features triangle shaped crackers made from wheat flour and seasoning for a crispy and delicious savory snack. I would turn on my overhead light, but it just blooms the room a little bit too much. So, I prefer not to do that. And inside, I've got these little Nabisco type crackers have a almost like an oregano type of smell, maybe. Hmm. I mean, they're good, but kind of bland. There's hardly any salt to them at all. It's just the taste of the cracker so it's like eating a nabisco round cracker without any salt it's basically what you're getting and a little bit of seasoning to it kind of like a oregano um let's go for some of the small huh. it's a bomb <laughs> pop pop bakudan candy Upon opening the seal, the inside contains purple crystal-like candy that pops and crackles. Oh, it's Pop Rocks. <laughs> All right, let's see how we open this thing. I'm hoping my, um, I mean, I've already gone through. I've already got a confirmation, but I'm hoping my IRS taxes show up soon because i got to get some new lenses and my glasses. It's been a over a year. Uh, usually every year I try to get some new lenses and these have some scratches and nicks in them and uh, get a little bit blurry. Not not much, but it's about time. Past time, really. I don't see any way of opening this thing. Usually they have a, a little pull area, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll have to pop... I'm going to have to pop the top, just stick my finger into it like that. Inside. Yep. Inside we have Pop Rocks. It's not a lot. As you can see, that's about it. <laughs> so it is pop rocks. Mm. <laughs> Pretty good. I actually have mm, uh, original packaging of the pop rocks when it came out back in the eighties, and the newer pack when they reissued them. So, unopened. <laughs> Got a little slot machine. 777. Looks like one of the slot machines on my game. On my phone. Uh, slot chocolate. I was right. This piece of chocolate is yummy to eat. And a fun lottery game, too. With the possibilities of a golden ticket. Ah, Willy Wonka. You could be a winner. Popular amongst... Children in Japan, a winning chocolate allows the amount to be redeemed at a candy shop. Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Can I get a golden ticket? <laughs> uh, let's see. This one does have a pull-up corner. Nice. Golden ticket, golden ticket, golden ticket. Ah, look at that. Pulls off the top wrong. It's supposed to open the whole thing. Let's see. Darn. Instead, I got a barrel and a 7.7. Seven. I'm not sure what the uh, kanji is under it. 
But inside, we have a nice little 777 chocolate. Hmm. Not as good as, I mean, it's okay. It's quite bland for a, a chocolate. Kind of like a mild dark chocolate, but it's, mm, could be better. Mm. I think we've had these before, but it's been a while. Umabu chocolate puffs. Uh, there we go. Umadama chocolate puff. Featuring four cute bite-sized cream puff confections. Inside has a chocolate filling with a yummy sweet choco snack. Oh, it's had a date. <laughs> Two years old. <gasps> Actually found recently. Here's it. Uh, I don't have it out. I had two Iron Man cans that I collected when they, when the movie came out from Dr. Pepper. And I saved them because they're pretty cool. They had uh, the Iron Man artwork. I said, and I decided to get rid of one of them because I, the other one was nice. had a close-up face of Iron Man's uh, mask on it on one side. And the other one, I thought, hmm, I wonder if it's still good because I have it's been sitting on my shelf since 2013. So I put it in the fridge and the other day, cracked it open at lunchtime, sniffed it, taste a little bit, perfect. T 2013. So it goes to show that the soda companies are making stores throw out cans of soda for no reason other than having this stupid thing on the bottom saying, hey, it's out of date. Oh, big deal. I mean, if a can of soda, as long as it's not compromised with, with in some way, you know, that will allow the fizz to get out, the sucker can last for a long time. So don't go by the expiration dates on the bottom of a can. As long as it's nice and tight, that can is in perfect condition. It can be put in the fridge and drink. Uh, it, even as far back as 2013, maybe even further back. I'm, I'm really wondering if a can from the 1980s, as long as it's in perfect condition, can survive. You know, it would be interesting to try. I would have thought, as my... Co-worker said that maybe the syrup would have got really thick or something like that it happened in the process, but no, it was perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. And there's the cheap, the little chocolate puff. Oh, that's disappointing. This thing should have been completely full. Look at that. All you get is air and a little bit of chocolate on the inside. That's that's a rip off. I'm not saying they're bad. These are quite good, but that really is supposed to look like that, you know. Although, now that I look at it, I take that back. See, the top is air, so it's half air, half chocolate. So I guess it's right. All right. Got a little. Try to get away from me. Got a little gob stopper, jawbreaker. Which is Awadama Candy Apple Flavor Ooh. by Pine Awadama Confectionery Candy Maker. This hard candy is a mouth-watering flavor of red apple. Ooh. Sounds good. I'm going to try it at the end if I can remember. Sometimes I forget. I'm sorry. I'm getting old. And actually, I'm going to be 50 this month. Can you believe it? Do I look 50? has no scent, though, but you can see. kind of looks like it has that ring around it where the mold line is. Very much like lollipops. So I'll try it at the end. See what it tastes like. Now, these we've had before. But you can remember the colors. <clears throat> Mochan Dango. Oh, dongle. What, what was that? Oh, man. It's from Fifth Element. Um, 
Mala Mala Dengel. I forget. Something she said to Bruce Willis in the, in the taxi. I forget what it was now. Dango is a traditional sweet Japanese dumpling made from, moch, from mochiko. Or mochi. <laughs> this on-the-go version contains three different colors and sprinkled with sugar. God, I used to have that down. I can remember when I'm watching the film because it suddenly comes back to me, but Fifth Element's a great film. It's crazy. It's it's fun. Is it mochi. It's got sugar on the outside. I should I'm trying to show it to you. It's hard to see. No scent at all. Nice sugar layer on the outside. Which helps because if it feels just straight mochi, it'd be like chewing a lump of rice and flour. <laughs> it's like, ugh, boring, bland, ugh. Now, as you notice, I didn't get to the drink because that's the most disappointing part of this box. And I'm hoping this will be the last time this happens. Uh, Japan Crate. And Tokyo Treat did this for like two or three boxes, and it got really annoying. But well, we have Iron Boss. It's a it's coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. Most people, a lot of people aren't. We're we're not interested in coffee unless you are, but I'm not. But I'll, I'll read you the description nonetheless. Suntory is known for their famous coffee drinks that are consumed by millions of in, on the day daily in Japan. On the daily? <laughs> you mean millions daily in Japan. Their first energy drink, Iron Boss, isn't coffee flavored, really, but has its unique taste in a great pick me up for the day or before a night out. This edition contains GABA in addition to other vitamins and caffeine. Oh, really? Okay. Its sweet and moderate combination makes for a taste that is super energy. So it doesn't taste like coffee, but it is? Okay, I'll try it. It's not coffee. Uh -huh. I should have put it in the fridge. Ooh. I mean, it's okay. It's kind of like... It's a little too sweet. It's like drinking a monster, a, a normal green can monster energy drink, which I don't re recommend. Now, there is one which I highly recommend. It's really good. The, the two best energy drinks are Full Throttle. Of course, I've showed you that in the past. And now my favorite next to that is Monster Energy Papillion. P-I-P-I-L-L-I-O-N. Or O-N, I think. I think. I can't remember because there's another eye, but it has this really lovely taste of peach, and I highly recommend it. It's really good. It's just right in taste and everything. It's not over sweet or sour, but this, eh, it's kind of like monster energy. It's, it's too, it, it, it's too much. It, it, it's way too sweet. Not good. So, but at least it wasn't coffee. So I take it back to uh, Japan. Great. Just don't put coffee in the box anymore. <laughs> All right. Now we got this little guy. It's a hard candy or gum, maybe. Crayon Shinchan Color Ramoon. Oh, it is. Crayon Shinchan is a Japanese mega series that follows the adventures of a five-year-old Shin Nohara and his family and friends. This candy is inspired by the manga with different colored candies in the taste of Ramun that dispenses from the carton through an opening in the back. Oh, okay. There's the back. The different artwork. Inside, actually. Inside that way. Is that? Oh my god. He's pulling his butt. He's showing his butt to the to the viewers. <laughs> Look at my ass. 
Okay. If you like my gum? Here's my hands. <laughs> oh boy. And now we have an opening here. Let's see. How does it work? Oh! Okay. The whole thing slides up like that. And. Oh, or down. Sorry. Yeah, it goes down. It goes down like this. Is he. Seriously? This cartoon is weird. He's trying to lick the baby's bottom. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay, Japan. You just weirded me out again. <laughs> anyway, inside, we got a little room. Oh, it's, it is hard candy. Hmm. Nice. Mild sugar. A little bit sweet. Hard coating on the outside. Quite good. In a weird box. <laughs> ah. One of the staples of Japan Great and sometimes Tokyo Treat. We've got a little uh, jelly. Which is the cola ball again. It would be nice if it was grape or apple. You know, some different flavors. It's almost every time we get cola. Inside, we got the little squishy. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Has a, uh, like a defizzed cola type flavor to it. It's okay for jello. And this is another one we've had many times before. It's a DIY, as you can remember. Which is the Animal Soft Candy DIY. I don't need to read it. You know about it. You've seen me show it. You take the uh, inside. Get away from the microphone so it doesn't make so much crackling. I know, before I show you these videos, I edit out an occasional hiccup you know, or screw up, and but I also go through and I tone down all the crackling in the audio because it, there's it wavers like crazy, so I have to go through and you know, fix that up. It takes a little while, so but inside we have two different molds as you can see there, and. We have two different candies, which, Frank, these are garbage <laughs> because that's your candy. You can just, mm, that's great. We just eat it like that. It's good. All right, if you're a kid, you probably like them. you'll like the molds because you, you know, take them and make them into animals. Whatever you want to do with them, but. For me, I just, I like them. They have a nice granular sugar, semi-sweet quality to them. A little like taffy, but not um, chewy, because it just melts, melts away in your teeth while you're chewing on it. Uh, let's see here. This is the, next we have three big bags, and here's the last box. Looks like strawberry. Chocolate Elsie Amio Amio A M A O Amao 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 Strawberry using well that's weird in the title it's differently spelled than in the description it's A M A O U Amao I guess strawberry powder from Fukaido Prefecture. The wafers contain a sweet cream filling that is that is then covered with a coat of strawberry chocolate for the sweet decadence of in each bite. Oh, I forgot there's little some sticks for that one. I was laying them all up here. There's what the packaging looks like on the inside. 
What's this? Chocolate delis. Mm, not much to see on the back side. There's a little pull tab on the top. Which. Oh, okay. And we have a whole bunch of them in here. Two, four, six, eight. Eight individual packages inside. Not much to see on the cover, though. There's some writing. And inside, we have this nice looking stick. It has a strawberry shortcake smell to it. Interesting. There's a soft, like, cream layer on the inside with the wafer. Not really nice. Definitely has a strawberry shortcut. Shortcut? <laughs> a strawberry shortcake taste to it. It's really good. Next, <clears throat> well, we just had these with Tokyo Treat, and I have to have a drink. If you're wondering what I'm having, it's Pepsi with a splash of pineapple juice. Really good. They have mango, pineapple, and... What was the other one? Berry, which is really good. You can get them at Walmart. We have sparkling wine with strawberry. Make a toast of the new year with these Kit Kats. Cheers! This edition has its wafers sandwiched with sparkling wine powder in a strawberry one to reproduce the taste of sparkling wine with strawberry. Obviously. There's the back side. I like this is uh, similar to the other packaging we've had recently where it's it's paper with a wax coating on the outside, so it's biodegradable. And as I showed you last time, each little pack has some different artwork on it, like here's a ballet dancer. These were okay, but let me try them again. Let's see. As you can see, they're slightly yellow. They Mm. I don't know. The sugar quality is a little, excuse me, is a little uh, high and kind of tastes, like, as I mentioned before, it's almost like soap in a way. I mean, not terrible. There is a wine quality to it. Anybody, everyone, anyone want wine? <laughs> uh, pepper, like a peppery quality. The strawberry is noticeable with the wafer and the white chocolate. It does, it leaves this interesting pepper, peppery mm, sensation in the back of your mouth. Sort of like wine does. It's good wines. I mean, they're not bad, but nowhere near as good as the apple ones. <laughs> now, what is this? Interesting. Lemon chips, by the looks of it. Creamy and sour. And it says... 
mozzarella cheese and refreshing lemon flavor. Enjoy your precious time with cheese mucho. <laughs> All right. Cheese mucho. That's weird. On the packaging, it says mucho. M-U-C-H-O. So you screwed up Japanese, Japan crate, because in here you said musho. <laughs> that could be mine. By Kokia, a popular chip maker in Japan, these chips feature mozzarella cheese with an unprecedented, uh, refreshing cheese taste with a faint lemon scent. The secret flavor of parsley enhances the richness of the cheese, too. Parsley? Nice. And there's the back side. Not much to see there. Get away from the microphone here. You would you wouldn't believe the amount of the, the audio spikes. If I were to do that right here, it'd just be off the scale. It smells like normal potato chips. There's a, a minor cheese. Cheese! Leave Walter and Gromit fans, if you are out there, you'll notice, you'll remember that. Cheese! <laughs> but, uh, just like, like a normal potato chip. Mmm! Wow! Definitely mozzarella. There's a you can taste that parsley. Huh. Oh. I'm seeing something over here. Can't tell if it's this. Oh, it is. It's the reflection of this on the door there. <laughs> But I don't really, I guess it's the, there is a slight tang, very mild, that could be the lemon. Very good, though. Very good. Hmm. Something to do with Pikachu on the cover here, as you can see, right there in the corner. Not sure what it is. Hmm, maybe for the movie, I guess. I don't know. But those are excellent. Really good. And last, we have Frito Lay. Frito Lay. Mike's popcorn. Can't tell what it is. Belongs to. Kanfuku, Kanfuku Mantako flavor. A collaboration between Kanfuku Mantako, known for their fresh related products, and Mike Popcorn, established in 1968. This edition features authentic Mantako flavor using Kanfuku, Kanfuku, sorry, Kana, Kanfuku's. There's too many mantako in this sentence. I, it, it really annoys me with repetition. That that drives me nuts. You got one, two, three, four. Four times you say mantako. Uh, that has a slight spiciness for a delicious and savory taste. I hear that. It's just... It's like I used to like watching on YouTube uh, Minty's comedic whatever. Community cards, sorry. Uh, his videos on five things you didn't know about a certain movie. He does a great job on his videos. Don't get me wrong. But he hates saying the word film or a variation of that term. He just loves saying movie, 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 movie all the way through. It drives you nuts. Sometimes he'll say 50 times or more in one, one video. Movie. And I, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. There's 
too much repetition these days in everything. And so I, I, I try to, I, that's why I pause. I try to think of something different. I, I don't want to repeat if I, if at all possible. I don't know what Montaco smells like. So to me, it is, it's just normal popcorn, as you can see right there. Mm. It's very pleasant. Mild spice to it. Ooh. There's a little... A little back of the mouth burn to it and on your tongue. Very nice. Very good. Sometimes I say that twice. Sorry. That's very pleasant. Oh, I didn't show you the, the back side. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. There's a good burn to that. I mean, it's not overly strong. But the... Uh, Spicy quality is excellent. Excellent. Bring on the freaking lasers for sharks. <laughs> or sharks with lasers. Sorry. Dyslexia. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is it? That's right. I still got two more. <clears throat> we have this is what I was holding off on. And I got it upside down. <laughs> Belongs to Super Sour Lemon. These super lemon chews are sure to make your li lips pucker. Pucker. <laughs> uh, it's out of date, too. No. Ziploc. Checking. <clears throat> They're smaller. Absolutely no smell. But at least they're tiny, but which also means they're quite strong. As you can see, just little little yellow lemons shaped like them. Yeah. <laughs> I've had, mm. yeah. I did get bam bam bam. They're chewy, which kind of kind of dilutes the. Uh, what am I seeing right here? Something right there. I guess that's my hair. Chewing them dilutes the sourness of a little bit, but they're not as bad as <clears throat> some of the ones we've had. There's a black bag, kind of, kind of similar, but it was it was almost all black and it had a big, a different type of lemon on the front, and they were much larger, uh, chewable ones. Now that was sour, and I, I think I've showed it to me on stream in the past. Those are way stronger than those. Those are excellent. Quite good. And last we had the... <coughs> excuse me. It's those. Hmm. That's a... Uh, kind of nice candy apple type of quality to it. Hmm. This is red apple. Hmm. I'll save it for later. I don't want to suck it entirely on it right now. It's like my gum. Let me stick it in the table here. <laughs> so that's all for this box here. Let me put everything back in in and I'll show you these two items I came across last night in my collectibles. I have a whole box I put up in the attic 
of <clears throat> collectible figures I've collected, I've acquired over the years. <clears throat> Boy, that lemon. Oof. But uh, this is one of my prizes. It's the next generation. NCC 1701D. And uh, the only diff, this is like from the first season, 1990, I think it was. Let's see. Uh, 1992. So, third season, I guess, maybe? I, for, I forgot what year Next Generation started in. But, but it's in perfect condition, as you can see. It hasn't even. Uh, discolored. I mean, there is a slight difference, very minor, between the top and the bottom. But uh, it has this, it still has the sound effects, which let me give you the nacelles here. And so, I love. I've always loved this thing. I want to find a stand that'll hold it, you know, like hold it like that, and then keep it protected. So I mean, it deserves to be shown. I mean, it's, just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful model. Considering it was put out by Playmates, they did a dang good job on it. And of course, my little original ED <laughs> with extending neck. Actually, it's got a little switch on the back, up, right in the back right here. Elliot. <laughs> and this is put out. <clears throat> 19. Boy. Well, it's about the same year as, as, as the movie. So, 1980, what was it, 82, I think? Uh, here, no, I don't have the soundtrack. I think it was around that time. I have them. I have them on my desk like this. Like he's, they're big friends. This is my uh, one of my dinosaurs. Actually, his mouth opens like that. And this is put out by. Hmm. If I can read it. Can't tell. It says made in Japan, made in China. And it's all a, I forgot where I got it at. But uh, he's a cool little dinosaur. He goes along with my little raptor here. Which is he's got an opening mouth too. <clears throat> yes, I like dinosaurs. Although this particular model set is really nice. I forget, I might have been Dinomania, maybe I'm not sure or Dynamation. Uh, but you can look them up. You can find them on eBay probably pretty easily. All right. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next unboxing, which will be February. I have it right over there. So I'm going to start working on it today. So bye for now.